Well, the, the role of the radiation therapist um, is twofold. Uh, it's primarily, um, the radiation therapist is, uh, is there to, um, to design a treatment plan, a course of treatment for a, uh, a, a primarily a cancer patient, and then to enact that treatment, in other words, to deliver that treatment. So the two elements, one is a, the dosimetric element, the treatment planning element, and the other one is the actual treatment delivery. There's a third component that sometimes gets missed in that we have uh, an extensive role in patient care. Most people uh, who don't know uh, about the field of radiation therapy uh, come up to me all the time and ask me, what do I do? And I say, I'm a radiation therapist. And they say, oh, that, that must be depressing. And it, it's not depressing. Um, because you're creating this wonderful supportive environment, um, um, patients... Um, take in that uh, support. And so that makes me proud uh, to know that we're, we're, we're making both a, a contribution into a person's life, but a contribution into the, the, the knowledge and the growth and development of, of the practice of radiation therapy itself. I think a person who is caring and compassionate would be ideal for this program. Uh, you also need to be a bit of a perfectionist. They always say that radiation therapists are millimeter people, which means they like to get things right down to the very last millimeter. It's interesting. Patients, some patients uh, come in who are very nervous and they cry uh, on their first day of treatment. It doesn't happen often, but some patients do. And then on their very last day of treatment, they cry again, not because uh, it has anything to do with their disease or the management thereof. It's because they're leaving this supportive environment and they don't want to go. They're going to miss all the people. Um, to anybody that's considering radiation therapy as a career path, I say go for it. It's a challenging and fulfilling career that you'll get a lot out of and you'll enjoy every day of your life. If you want to be on the cutting edge of what's out there in technology, this is the place to be. If you have a, a desire to interact and to help people, this is the profession for you. Um, if you feel that you want to make um, a contribution to um, the body of knowledge in cancer research, this is the profession for you. It's a great school because the classes are so small and they're directed towards your career. Um, the teachers know you by name. If you're ever having any difficulties with any of the subjects, you can always go to them and they're very happy to help you with different um, aspects of the course. I like this program because it's offered me an opportunity to make a difference in people's lives. It's definitely a really great program. Um, you have to be a hard worker to be able to do the workload, um, but in the end it's very rewarding. I love this program. It was perfect for me. <laughs> Laurentian is a small, very intimate university with a beautiful campus where everything is close together and accessible, and it's very much a little community. And students uh, can always get to see the professors personally, often without any appointments. And this small community environment is especially good for students who have to come from other areas and are away from home, living in residence for the first time. For the students in the North in particular, this is a wonderful opportunity because they have a different kind of cultural background and milieu that they're used to in the North compared to Southern Ontario. So for many of them, it has never been an option to come down and do training in this profession in the South if this is what they really wanted to pursue. So it has really opened up major uh, opportunities for the students uh, who come from uh, uh, Francophone backgrounds, Anglophone backgrounds, and Aboriginal backgrounds. And that's the population that we're especially uh, interested in reaching, both as students and for them to return and practice among those people in the North.